What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Beat of Business. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you a really effective way to invest in the metaverse through an ETF that's called the Subversive Metaverse ETF. And it trades under ticker symbol P-U-N-K. That's right, it trades under PUNK. Now I'm really excited to cover this ETF because I truly believe that it is one of the most unique Metaverse ETF products out there. And this is the only Metaverse ETF that at least to my knowledge, actually holds a short position in Meta stock. Now we'll cover why this fund is shorting Meta later in this video. But let's jump right into this video because we do have a lot to talk about. Now in this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about the Subversive Metaverse ETF. We will cover who should invest in this ETF, why you should consider investing in this ETF, and we'll also cover the details of this ETF, including which companies it invests in, the expense ratio, and at the end of this video, I'll share my opinions on the Subversive Metaverse ETF. So let's start this video off by talking about Subversive as a company. Subversive Capital Advisor LLC is an investment advisor whose investment strategies primarily focus on different mission-driven emerging sectors that they believe will shape the economy of the future, and they want to drive meaningful value for the investors via diversified ETFs. And at this point in time, they only have one ETF, the Subversive Metaverse ETF, which is an actively managed fund that invests in globally listed securities that provide services and products that support the infrastructure and applications of the metaverse. So with that, let's go ahead and talk about the Subversive Metaverse ETF in greater detail. Now, I don't need to define what this fund does because a thorough description of this fund is provided by Subversive on its homepage, and it states, the Subversive Metaverse ETF, ticker symbol P-U-N-K, is an actively managed fund that invests in globally listed securities that provide services and products that support the infrastructure and applications of the metaverse. Now, metaverse describes the next generation of the internet, which promises creators the ability to build the next chapter of human interaction through immersive experiences in virtual and augmented spaces. A committee of metaverse experts led by John Radoff will analyze the metaverse companies, their role in supporting the metaverse, and their current and future potential to generate profits from the metaverse. And to dive deeper into the details of this ETF, Let's review the fund fact sheet, which has a lot of awesome information. Under the fund details, you can see that this ETF trades under ticker symbol P-U-N-K, which is just awesome. It's a metaverse ETF. The primary exchange is the CBOE. It has an inception date of January 27th, 2022. It has an expense ratio of 0.75%. Fund AUM currently stands at $1.18 million, and the advisor is Subversive Capital Advisor LLC, and the number of holdings will typically stand between 55 and 65 securities. And another way to look at this is that at any given time, this fund will hold anywhere between 55 to 65 different stocks that are all invested in the metaverse. Now, for those of you that may be new to ETF investing, the expense ratio is the annual cost that Subversive, the fund advisor, will charge you to manage this ETF on your behalf. Now, remember, when you buy this ETF, you are not picking the stocks. You are not doing any of the research. You are just buying this ETF that invests in metaverse companies and the fund advisor actively invests on your behalf. And the expense ratio of 0.75% is what it costs you to own this ETF on an annual basis. So if you invest, let's say, $1,000 into this fund, it'll cost you roughly $7.50 a year in fees. And if you invested, let's say, $10,000 into this fund, your annual fees would be roughly $75 a year. We can actually skip over the fund objective because we kind of already covered that. But if you want to read it, feel free to pause this video. I want to move on to why you should invest in punk. Now, the first reason, which is actually outlined on the fund fact sheet, is market growth. It states that the rise of blockchain technology is enabling the movement, protection, and management of assets in the metaverse. VR, so virtual reality, and AR, which is augmented reality, 
are now rapidly increasing in popularity with big tech companies shifting toward the metaverse, not just in gaming and computing, but also in security and payment processing. The second reason to invest in this fund is that it has a unique investment strategy. It says using John Radoff's metaverse market map, which we'll cover later in this video, we identify companies that will be engaged in one or more of the seven layers of the metaverse. These layers are experience, discovery, creator economy, spatial computing, decentralization, human interface, and infrastructure. The third reason to invest in the subversive metaverse ETF is the strong belief in egalitarianism. And this is also the reason why this fund does not, or why this fund actually is shorting Meta, AKA Facebook. It states that the emerging technological and human advancement requires responsible companies, which is why we intend to include a short position in Meta, ticker symbol FB. We consider this a permanent position. We will close if we are wrong by 50% from inception date, or when Meta trades at zero, or if forced to be broken up by regulators. We don't expect the position to exceed 2% of AUM. So now that we know why this ETF does not invest in Meta, we should also talk about the Metaverse market map that a lot of this fund documentation references. And the Metaverse market map is made up of seven different layers, as you can see, and each one of these layers includes a variety of companies that are involved in the Metaverse. And it's important to understand that this approach is a proprietary approach that is unique to the subversive Metaverse ETF. I have not seen another ETF that takes this sort of approach to investing in the Metaverse, let alone actually holding a short position in a company that actually changed its name to Meta to better align with the growth of the metaverse. And if you wanna read up on each one of these seven layers in more detail, I'll post a screenshot up and feel free to pause the video and read each one of these layers in detail. There is a lot of useful information that I think you will all find value in. Now, as far as the sectors that this ETF invests in, it invests in five different sectors. Currently, 13 of the holdings are in communication services, nine of the fund's holdings are in consumer discretionary, 31 of the fund's holdings are in information technology, four holdings in healthcare, and two holdings in financials. Now, as far as the top 10 holdings in this fund, cash and other make up the largest percentage at 7.53% followed by NVIDIA Corp, Cloudflare Inc, Block Inc, Coinbase Global, Sony Group, Microsoft Corp, Alphabet Inc, Agilent Technologies, and Roblox Corp. Now, typically I would really love to dive deep into the performance of this fund, but since this fund has only been around since January 27th of this year, there really isn't a lot of performance data to work with. But with that being said, the Subversive Metaverse ETF currently trades at $23.28, and since inception, it's down 4.2%. And that really doesn't surprise me because technology stocks in general have had a rough year so far. And I think the secret to this ETF really isn't timing your investment, it's really about the amount of time that you hold this investment. If you watch this channel, you know that I'm a long-term investor and I always have a long-term outlook whenever I make any type of investment. And the fact of the matter is that I am bullish on the metaverse and frankly, I'm bullish on this ETF. And with that, let's actually move on to the last part of this video where I share my thoughts on this ETF. Now that we've covered this ETF in detail, let's end this video by talking about who should invest in this ETF. Actually, more particularly, why would someone want to invest in a metaverse ETF product like this? Well, in my opinion, if you're looking for a well-diversified way to invest in the metaverse, I strongly think that you should consider the subversive metaverse ETF. The beauty of this product and other metaverse ETFs like it is that you don't have to spend a lot of time, you know, researching companies from a fundamental and technical standpoint. Instead, you just buy the punk ETF and you're able to effectively invest in the next generation of the internet, AKA 
the metaverse. There are so many components to the metaverse and so many different companies and so many different sectors that are going to shape this new economy. And the challenge as an investor becomes, which companies do you invest in? Do you invest in semiconductor companies? Do you invest in social network companies? Do you invest in blockchain and decentralized finance companies? Well, the truth is, if you're looking to invest in the metaverse effectively, all of these industries and sectors are worthy of investment. And with Punk, AKA the Subversive Metaverse ETF, you're able to invest in the metaverse without having to make these difficult decisions and spending your well-valued time researching companies. With this ETF, you are paying the research team at Subversive to actively manage this fund so that you don't have to. And the investment committee is led by John Radoff, who is a renowned thought leader in this space. But just to be clear, I'm not telling you all to go out and just buy this ETF. I just wanted to do a review on it because I think it's a great product and I do think that it's an effective way to invest in the metaverse. But as always, please do your own research and due diligence. This video is intended to be a part of that research and due diligence. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna call it a video. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like this video and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. We're actually growing like crazy and it's awesome. Anyways, I'll see you all next time. Thank you all for watching. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy some Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, I'm gonna buy some ether, ether.